One was a rising star. A superstar emerges. While the other was concluding a historic trilogy. Here comes Marrera. Here comes Morales. In March 2005, Akau and Morales crossed paths, beginning a classic song. And the blind beats the size and strength proved victorious. And it was done. Did you like that? I love it. Ten months later, both men picked up where they left off. Morales back, back out up with a big right hand. Pacquiao almost knocks Morales down with the left. Morales is taking tremendous punishment. Manny Pacquiao has knocked out the great Eric Tonight, two men from humble beginnings fight for honor, pride, and wealth. Can Morales regroup one last time after a devastating defeat? Will Manny Pacquiao continue his ascent to boxing superstardom? The rubber match of the Pacquiao-Morales saga is next. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask everyone to please rise for three national anthems. First, here to sing the national anthem of the Philippines, Ms. Sarah Geronimo. Sa simoy at sa langit mong bukaw May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kisnag ng watawat wat mo'y tagumpay na nagdidigding Ang bituin at araw na kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng araw na wal Hatid pagsinta Buhay ay langit Sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pag May mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo And now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. Here to sing the national anthem for Mexico, please welcome Mario El Cachorro Delgado. Mexicanos al grito de guerra, el acero apresta y el brindo. Y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Siño patria, tú sienes de oliva de la paz del arcángel divino. Que en el cielo tu eterno destino por el dedo de Dios escribió. Mas si osare un extraño enemigo profanar con sus plantas tu suelo, pienso patria querida que el cielo un soldado en cada hijo te dio un soldado. 
Mexicanos al grito de guerra, el acero apresta y el bridón, y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. ¡Viva México! And now, ladies and gentlemen, again, please remain standing here to sing the national anthem of the United States of America. Supported by the Nellis Air Force Base Honor Guard. From the United States Air Force, Master Sergeant Robert Brooks. Oh, oh say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so And whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming for land the rockets. Tail of the tape now for the third meeting between Manny Pacquiao and Derek Morales. Manny Pacquiao, 27 years old at the very peak of his career. Eric Morales regarded by some ring experts as potentially an old 30. So many wars, so many big rounds, so much intensity in his career. A ha an inch and a half height advantage for Morales. An arm length advantage, advantage measured from the armpit to the end of the fist of one inch for Pacquiao. They both weighed in a pound under the 130 pound limit tonight. Morales has gone up only to 139 unofficially, while Pacquiao has put on 15 pounds of rehydration to go to 144, so Manny, for the first time, will enter the ring with a functional weight advantage against Morales. Punch stat numbers from preceding fights. In the first fight, as you can see, Pacquiao threw many more punches, but Morales landed many more punches. Second fight, Pacquiao again threw more punches. In that fight, he landed more punches. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Manny Pacquiao, Eric Morales fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules in the Association of Boxing Commissions. There's no three knockdown down rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. Hey, what a case of cuts caused by an accidental headbutt. We go to the scorecards after four rounds have been completed. And you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. We went back through the record books to try to find which fighters in the history of the sport had two trilogies that might match the intensity of what Morales has experienced against Marco Antonio Barrera and now against Manny Pacquiao. Larry, what kind of fighters himself says, Manny Pacquiao didn't hurt me with power punches. I simply ran out of gas because I was not properly conditioned for that fight. 
I was not working with my normal trainer, my father. I was with someone else. I've brought my father back, and this will be the old Eric Morales. That's Eric's case. Astonishing stats in Eric Morales' career. He's had 17 fights against fighters with one title belts. He has gone eight or more rounds 23 times. Not many fighters have worked harder. Manny Pacquiao, 19 fights since he be became a star here in the United States. 15 wins by knockout. The only loss in those 19 fights was the decision loss to Eric Morales the first time around. Pacquiao already has knockout wins over bonuses and other monies to Golden Boy, which Golden Boy had signed him. So there's going to be a royal battle. The, the checks were not accepted by Golden Boy. There'll be a royal battle in the court. He brings this stuff with him, but he also comes to the ring like one of those guys who not has a band coming behind him, but is the band. In fact, he's entering to his own recorded song, much like Oscar De Loy in the United States. Manny Pacquiao is a recording artist in the Philippines. His most recent album sold 50,000 copies in the first week, and the song you just heard was from that particular record. Now let's go to Michael Buffer for official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, by way of win, Las Vegas. Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present the grand finale, the third and final chapter in one of the great trilogies in boxing history, sponsored by PokerStars.net and the King of Beers, Budweiser. This bout is dedicated to the memory of a true friend of boxing. He was president of the European Boxing Union and for 30 years, executive Vice President of the WBC. Rest in peace, Ruben Martinez. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Super Featherweight Championship. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Tony Alamo, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout are Guido Cavalieri, Dwayne Ford, and Glenn Trowbridge. And inside. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with black. Official weight, 129 pounds. Professional record, 48 victories, including 34 knockouts with four defeats. He is the former super bantamweight world champion, former featherweight world champion, and former super featherweight champion of the world. Damas y caballeros de la zona norte de Tijuana, México. Eric, el terrible Morales. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with play. Official weight, also 129 pounds. His professional record, 42 victories, including 32 knockouts with three defeats and two draws. From generals... Hide the women and children, if any of them are still awake. I don't know about you, Larry, but the kind of women I know love this stuff. <laughs> Round one begins. Will it be a boxing match? Will it be a brawl? Will it be a little of both? Morales looking like he wants to engage. Pacquiao just figuring out what he's doing. Pacquiao's belief 
is that Eric Morales wants to come and try to get him early. After Normally he would be asking for the winning, but he wanted to go with the gloves that Pacquiao wanted, which means I think he wants to go for the punch, power punch in this fight early. Indeed, there's been quite a story of the gloves since the first fight. In the very first fight, Eric Morales had a contract that required both fighters to wear winning gloves. They are called pillows by some. They are more hand protective than punch promoted. In the second fight, they got to wear the gloves they wanted. Morales wore winning. Pacquiao wore his beloved Reyes Punch's gloves and knocked Morales out, which he had said would be the case. Now in the third fight, both fighters choose to wear the puncher's glove, Reyes. Pacquiao's already landed a couple of good body punches to test Morales' not only his defense, but long-term his stamina. Well, Morales made to wait, as I said earlier, but I just don't think that that's the proper weight for him at this age and time in his career. And going down the stretch, I think that may be a big factor, too, as well as the hard fights that he's had. And if Pacquiao thought Morales was coming to try to get him early, Eric has shown none of that in the first round. And he nearly stands his ground in the middle of the ring and takes a right hook from Manny Pacquiao, who was so much better with his right hand in the second fight than in the first. Another right hook lands. Manny consistently beating Morales to the punch so far. And Morales countering with a right hand that knocks Manny back. Yeah. And Morales again countering properly upstairs. And Pacquiao comes back with his own assault. Yeah. And both fighters' crowds are on their feet. You know, look, technically, Pacquiao is not a solid fighter, as everyone in boxing knows. He often gets out of position after one of his punches and does a lot of things awkward and unorthodox, but still, there's so much fight in him that it takes him through. In this case here, I just don't think that Morales is strong enough. And when he misses his punches, I'm looking at his legs. His legs doesn't seem to be that coordinated. For these fighters, this is just a warm-up, right? Get off him, okay? Right here, you see Pacquiao land a, a right kind of jab hook or whatever you want to call it that Morales just didn't see. He was coming in and didn't see it. Once upon a time, Pacquiao only had the left stuff. He's got the right stuff behind it now. That was one of the big changes yeah. between fight one and fight two. Comedy box numbers in round one. Pacquiao 15 out of 41. Morales 10 out of 41. Pacquiao with a 10 to 5 edge and power connects. You saw that Judge Harold Letterman, our unofficial score, gave the first round to Manny. Pacquiao crowd chanting Manny, Manny, Manny. Morales, who landed some good right hands in the first fight, tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands there, but Manny comes back with a torrent of punches from his own. Back house, and of course you have Ardent-spirited Mexican and Mexican-American Morales Rooters sitting next to and among ardent-spirited Filipino and Filipino-American Rooters for Pacquiao. And what's interesting, a lot of the Mexican fans like Pacquiao themselves, too, because of his style of fight and being so aggressive. And because of the Spanish-speaking tradition of the Filipino archipelago. Or the Philippine archipelago. Another body shot by Pacquiao. And they get close to the ropes, and Morales throws his right hand. You can see why Freddy Roach asks his fighter to stay away from the ropes. Himself open. Don't just stand in front of him. Keep, hey, keep his distance. And he throws so many punches, sometimes it's hard to isolate the knockdown punch, Emmanuel. Let's here, take a look. Here you see Morales coming in with an attack on um, Pacquiao, but Pacquiao just shoots a punch. But Morales was out of position and knocked him down. A lot of, a lot of was balanced. Hit him with both the right and the left, got him to go down. CompuBox yeah. numbers in two, and you see the flurry yeah. with which they ended the this, round. This is Ventus Morales here. Fighting back so after he had been down in the round. He always wants to get the last punch. The great fights with the world was attributed to that attitude of his of wanting to have the last punch. Letting his hands go, Eric Morales threw 80 punches in the second round, but Manny Pacquiao throwing only 55, landed 24, three more than Morales. So Pacquiao a little more precise, and you won't often say that. Normally, he's just throwing because he is a noisy storm in the ring. Pacquiao is fighting a much more intelligent fight now than he did earlier, about four or five years ago. I think him and Fader Roach have worked a lot. His jab is a lot better. Even after he tried to counter with a jab, after blocking a jab. 
Pacquiao landed a right hand upstairs. Eric Morales got to his body with the right hand. Pacquiao much more focused on landing his jab in this fight than was the case in the first two fights. Solid left hand, backs Morales up, crowd loves it. And unlike some punchers, man, he does have head movement. Yeah, that was, a, it was almost reminiscent of a little Aaron Proud, where he punched it about him and comes up on top. Eric Morales, not afraid to fight with one of the most dangerous punchers in the sport. Eric Morales likes to get that last punch in. He has the kind of will that allows some men walk over hot coals. A right hook, a punch that Hard right that hand, stun Morales. Pacquiao's all over him. Thinks he's got a chance. He, he Morales slightly staggered after that last left hook. Up. What guts by Morales! Yeah. He strafes Pacquiao with right hands. Even looked into the corner, looking for his father, as if to say, Pop, I tried my best. I don't have it anymore. Eric Morales was overwhelmed. Manny Pacquiao goes to another level. Manny Pacquiao is a big draw. I think this unbelievable crowd is mainly an attribute to a new superstar, Manny Pacquiao, because after such a devastating performance the last time, I never thought they could draw this people. But he's brought the people here because of him and his excitement. Tremendous excitement. Manny Pacquiao fights the way you want to see a fighter fight. I expected the fight go exactly as it went. Well, you were skeptical all week as to whether Morales could produce the one big effort that so yeah. many people thought he would. He made to wait, but he made to wait, and that's like Ali made to wait for his last fight with Larry Holmes, but it was not to wait to be able to perform on a top level in sports. It's no good for him, in addition to the wars as his head. And then he's with a, a very great, strong, young fighter. All right, Manny, let's take a look at, and I'm saying this, Emmanuel Stewart. Well, let's Ma take a look at some replays. Manny's name is Emmanuel, too. <laughs> his real name. <laughs> yeah. It's just everything. It's just too much of an attack, the intensity, the fury. The wrong thing for an agent fighter. It's hard to uphold precision and craft yeah. when a guy is just overwhelming you. And he punches good with both hands now. It used to be with a simple one-two puncher with a straight left. Now he does a right hook, uppercuts, everything. Now, shortly after this second knockdown, if the camera angle shows it to you, you will see, exactly as Larry Merchant said, Eric Morales stares into the corner and looks at his father. Well, that's the same look that I said before that I saw when he went down the last fight, even though he said it wasn't from a punch. And I saw the same thing with Arturo Gatti, and that's the worst look at else when he say, I'm done, I'm finished. That's the look, right there. And Alexis Aguello did it the second fight with Aaron Pryor. The same look. I'm done. 